Welcome to the KSB short course series on money. In part two, we will be learning about different tools we can use to identify currency in bill form. First up, we have TapTapC. TapTapC is a mobile camera application designed specifically for visually impaired users. TapTapC utilizes your device's camera and voiceover functions to take a picture or video of anything and identify it out loud for you. To use, double tap the right side of the screen to take a picture or double tap the left side of the screen to take a video. TapTapC can identify any two or three dimensional objects within seconds. Let's see TapTapC in action. Page three of tap taps tap 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 C tap tap C tap tap C repeat button. A one dollar bill is placed in camera view as user taps screen to take a snapshot. Or of a picture three in progress. Picture three is one us dollar bill. A five dollar bill is placed in camera view. Cap camera button, button, camera button, picture one in progress. Picture one is five us dollar bill. A ten dollar bill is placed in camera view. Camera button, button, camera, bu picture two in progress. Picture two is ten us dollar bill. A $20 bill is placed near phone camera. Camera button. Camera bu picture three in progress. Picture three is 20 US dollar bill. Next, we take a look at Scene AI. The Scene AI is an app created by Microsoft to help narrate the world around you. It is available in multiple languages. Scene AI can complete multiple tasks such as speak short text placed in front of camera, read documents on a printed page, help locate barcodes and scan to identify products, recognize friends and describe people around you, describe the environment around you, identify currency, generate an audible tone corresponding to brightness in your surroundings, describe perceived color, and read handwritten text. Here is seeing AI in action, including a testimonial from a consumer. Identify currency bills with seeing AI. One of the things that seeing AI can do is recognize currency bills. Currently, we only do US dollars. This is important because US currency is all the same size and even the same color. So it's hard to differentiate. What some people will do then is fold it into different shapes or put it in different parts of your wallet. But to do that, you still need to go through and identify each of the notes. You can do this with our currency channel. Simply place the phone over a note and hear the denomination. It's lunchtime here, so let's see how much money I have here. I'm just going to put the phone over the bill. One US dollar. One dollar. Unfortunately, that's not going to buy much today. Let's see what else I have. 20 US dollars. Cool, 20 dollars, that's more like it. You'll see that this is quite a nice uh, 20 dollar bill. What about if it was all scrumpled up? Let me do that for you. And let's see, it looks a bit older now. So let's see what it's going to say now. 20 US dollars. Cool, so just as fast. It's recognizing um, notes which are maybe not quite so pristine. That's currency for you. Let's go and get some lunch. Microsoft logo appears. Next up, the iBill Talking Money Identifier from MaxiAids gives you a quick, easy, reliable way to identify the bills you use to pay. With just two buttons to operate, it recognizes all U.S. paper currency in circulation. Also from MaxiAids, the Click pocket money brailler. Simply insert edge of bill and squeeze to mark denominations of 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100 in braille for easy ID.
Here is the Click Pocket Brailler in action. The consumer places the $1 bill between the two sides of the Click Pocket. Next, the consumer lines up the edge of the Click Pocket and the edge of the bill. The consumer locates the one and squeezes. Upon removing the bill, the consumer now has an easy identification marker in Braille. Thank you for watching with us today. We hope you enjoyed and were able to find a useful tool for identifying bills from part two of our money series. Don't forget to check out part one on identifying coins and our upcoming part three on folding bills.